guys, it's Sam. I just had the most exciting thing happen to me in the world. Ah! If I talk really fast in this video, it's because I just had the most exciting thing. And you guys will get to see what, soon what I did. And you're going to be so excited for me. Ho hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to film. I, I got a bunch of stuff. at the. I'm still shaking. I'm so excited, okay? I'm seriously the biggest nerd in the world. But, um... Ah! Okay. So, when we were in Reno, I went to Walgreens because we never get the latest things. It takes like forever to get the latest things here. So, I figured while I was there, I had to pick something. I had to pick a lighter foundation up. So, I picked up some new goodies I was so excited about because I'd never seen these before. So, the drugstore has a bunch of new products out right now. And they all totally caught my eye because normally when I go to the drugstore, I'm like, eh, that's okay. Eh, I'll pass on that. It's like never that exciting. Um, someone said that they like the videos a little bit closer up so that you guys can see things a little bit better. So that's why I'm, you're so up in my business. Um, so anyway, I got a bunch of things and I'm just going to show them with you. So I'm having a drugstore haul today. Okie dokie artichokey. The first thing I picked up is the Bombshell Volume Cover Girl uh, by Lash Blast Mascara. I actually saw Candy Johnson do a first impressions of this and it made her lashes look super duper wow. So I figured I would try it out. I don't know where my receipt went. I did have a receipt, but this, we are such a mess. We just got back yesterday. I don't know where my receipt is, so I can't remember how much. I think it's like eight bucks or something like that. Okay, so the next things I picked up were the new blushes from Maybelline and these are called the Master Highlight by Face Studio. They're highlighting blushes. So I picked up this color which is 20 pink rose. Let me just take off the packaging for you guys and I'll open it up so you can see it's got this is more of the kind of rosy pink tones and it's supposedly a highlighter and a blush in one. Um, I'm going to be doing first impressions of these so I will have kind of a review coming soon. The next color I picked up was 30 Coral which has more of the kind of orangey peachy um, peachy coral tones. How do I open it? The nude one which looks really shimmery and beautiful and this is 10 nude. It's got some light pink nude and then some really shimmery kind of shimmery things going on. So I'm not going to swatch them yet because I want to do a, a video specifically on those. So that will be coming up soon. I, oh, I got a bunch of Revlon blushes. So Revlon has come out with new blushes and highlights, which actually remind me, I, don't, I haven't tried them out yet, but as far as the look, they look like the shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown, but much cheaper. Now these were actually quite expensive. They were like $14.99 or maybe some of them were $10.99, some of them were like $14.99, but these were the buy one get one 50% off, so it worked out to be okay. So I picked up the Bronze Glow. This one is what reminds me of the Shimmer Brick from um, Bobbi Brown. This one is in 03, 003 Bronze Glow. So that's what it looks like. It's got like a really pretty, um, they're very shimmery. And it's got like a kind of bronzy, a, a kind of peachy color, a slightly more mauve color up top, and then a highlighting shade. Um, again, I will be doing first impressions on, or like a you know better review on those. Because I, I got quite a lot of stuff, so I figured it would just take forever in this video. Then I got 002 Rose Glow, which has got the uh, more pinky kind of rosy tones. So I'm very excited to try those out. Then I picked up two blushes. Um, I got, oh, 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 why do they have to put stickers on everything? This is so irritating. Well, I know why they do it, but I'm trying to do a video here, you know. Not everyone has time to rip off stickers. Okay, this is the Racy Rose Revlon Powder Blush. Whoops. Oh, it comes with a brush. Uh, there's the color. Look how beautiful. It's like a really pretty peach, and it looks like it's got a nice kind of sheen to it. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these because I'm going to do the first impressions more on the uh, rose glow shimmer thingies. So let's just go ahead and swatch this. So, oh, it feels really creamy. Ooh, that feels really creamy, actually. So there it is. It looks very shimmery and highlighting like. Oh, it's really shimmery. It's very light, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot darker. It's more of a kind of glow rather than a color, if you can see. I mean, it's got a tiny bit of a color, but it's more of a really pretty kind of sheen glow. 
That's interesting. Okay, and then I got Melon Drama 007. It's kind of hard to take stickers off when you're so excited from what you just did. Oh, I'm so shaky. I can't believe I'm so I'm seriously like I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm going to have the video soon, so don't worry. Don't fret, my friends. It'll be up. Okay, so this is 007 Melon Drama, and I just dropped the brush. So this is more of a kind of peachy coral. The other one was slightly more pink. Let's see what this one is like. So there it is on my finger. This is a slight bit lighter, it seems. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Seems a bit chalky. But they're, they're very pale. They're more like shimmers, almost. I don't know. I'll try them out. I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, from swatching the pink one, the Racy Rose seems nice, but the this one, maybe not. Melon Drama? I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. I'll try them out. I also picked up the Bronzilla powder or bronzer from Revlon. And this is 012. Let me just take off the sticker. So that's what this looks like. And then... It's, it seems like a nice color. Let's try it. Oh, that seems like a nice, actually, a really perfect color for contouring. Okay, the next things I picked up were the new Maybelline, what are these called? Um, the Elixir Color Sensational. They're the new lip glosses from Maybelline. So they had a lot of different shades of these, and it's kind of cool because they look like a lipstick, but it's actually a lip gloss. So the colors that I picked up were 100 Petal Plush, which is a really pretty pink, 005 Breathtaking Apricot, which is a beautiful um, kind of coral color, and then 060 Nude Illusion, which is a really pretty kind of peachy nude shade. And these are lip glosses. So I will be doing a first impressions review on those. And then the last thing I got, which darn, I wish I would have got the other color because I have tried this out. So maybe I'll pick up the other color as well. Is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. And this is basically a liquid highlight. So you can use it all over your face, like underneath your foundation for kind of a glow. Or um, what I got it for was to use like with my beauty blender on my, um, you know, as my highlight on top of my foundation. So it comes with like a little squeezy tube. And then it's just really liquidy and then you just kind of rub it in. Now I will say the formula is actually really nice. It's very thin and it rubs in really easily. They had a pink version. I got the uh, 100 Bare Light. I think I'm actually gonna pick up uh, the pink one because the pink one was really be beautiful and it was also, uh, I think it's like an almost exact dupe for the High Beam from Benefit, but there it is. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just a very, very subtle kind of nude like skin color highlight and it just leaves a really pretty uh, glow on the skin. So I will be picking, I think I'm going to pick up that pink one as well because I'm really interested to see, to try those out a little bit more. And then I also picked up uh, the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup, but I got the lighter color, 05 Fresh Ivory, because I have the 30 Soft Beige for when I self tan, but I'm not self, well I didn't self tan while I was in Reno. So I just mix these two together now. For my perfect shade because 20 still seemed a bit dark and this is too light um, and then you know what? I'm just gonna show the last thing I got this is not drugstore at all but I did just get it in the mail today I got that Henry Bendel gift card for Christmas and so I ordered this this with it and it just came so I'll just show it because I'm instantly in love with it this is the Mali effortless airbrush highlighter and blush and it comes in this little box, which, you know, I think their packaging is so cute. It comes with this dual end brush, which it's kind of in between an eyeshadow brush and a blush brush as far as the size goes. But it's very loose and very soft, so it ends up being, like, way more, way better than you think it's going to be. So, um, so far I've just used the highlighting side, and I really, really love it for highlighting. It just says Mally on the front, and then on the back it just says the Pure Light Highlighter and the Easy Pink Blush. So it just says what you're getting. And this is seriously... Whoa, baby. If you haven't got this, you should. Um, I've only just tried the highlight so far on my face. I did swatch the pink, but um, let me just, okay, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try not to blind you here. This is just, seriously, it's got like this weird texture kind of coolness going on. Whoa, look at that. I have it on my face right now. Look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. It's, it is seriously like, 
Oh, it's so amazing. It is, it's kind of a gold with a tiny tint of a roseness to it. So pigmented. The same goes for the blush. It's super pigmented. It's got a really beautiful kind of sheen to it. It's just absolutely beautiful. I am seriously in love with this. I just, I just absolutely love it. It's so creamy. It's so pigmented. Let me just put it on my hand for you. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it just catches the light like you're wearing gold. So beautiful. So, la, la, la. so excited about that. Sorry, that's not drugstore, but I just had to feature it because it's just sitting here looking at me. Okay, I'm gonna go. Can you guys just tell I'm so excited about what happened? I'm sorry. I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna sneak you a peek. Unless you watch my art daily vlogs, then you're just go watch my daily vlog, and then you'll get a sneak peek before you actually get to see the video. How about that? There you go. Um, I will be doing reviews in first impressions, etc., etc., on the products that I mentioned um, that I just showed you, and uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Happy 2014. I think I've already done a video for this year, but that's okay. Ah, I'm so excited right now. Ugh. I'll sneak you a peek. I'll sneak you a peek. I'll sneak you a peek, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so excited right now. I didn't think I'd be this excited. This. There you go. That right there. That's Danielle and Kevin Jonas. There's a sneak peek of what video will be coming up next. You don't even know. Take guesses. Leave a comment in the down bar. What happened? What just happened with them, okay? Bye!